Hey YouTube, it's Rob from RP Model Railroads, and before we jump into some train action on my N-Scale Santa Fe Paradise layout, I'd like to give another quick update as far as the oil refinery goes. I did win those uh, oil tanks that I had mentioned in the previous video, and then I weathered them with some rust-colored brown paint, the same paint that I used on the refinery itself, and then I just placed them around the refinery. But before I did that, I actually lined the ground around the tracks and the whole refinery site with some uh, of this Woodland Scenics ballast stone here. Got this bag from somewhere, not too sure where. Had really no other use for it, so I figured it would be the perfect stone to put down underneath the oil refinery. And it turned out pretty good in my opinion. Um, and then obviously then I just put everything on top of the what is called ballast stone or what I like to call gray stone. So the oil refinery scene is basically complete. The only thing I probably will do is uh, maybe I'll add a road or something like that to extend it, you know, further back into the mountain area. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do there. But the oil refinery scene is basically done. As far as the oil well scene up here, I put the same gray stone or gray ballast stone up here, as you can see. The only other thing I'm really going to be adding, I've obviously some more tank cars up here to sit on the side, the side tracks. But I'm also going to be adding uh, some sort of a shack or building that will be controlling the uh, oil well site as well to make it more prototypical. Uh, as far as the mine idea, that still is up in the air. Not too sure if I'm going to do that or not. I may not do that. If I don't, then that'll be basically it for the layout itself in terms of buildings because I've been looking at the layout itself and there really isn't any place for me to put a station that I can see except for possibly over here. So if I do put a freight station, it will probably be over here in this area. But aside from that, this is probably going to be as far as I go with buildings. And once I complete the oil well scene and the uh, oil refinery scene, which is basically almost done, um, and then obviously this coal depot scene over here is basically done, I'll probably be adding a freight station as I've mentioned over here if I do so. And then the last thing I'll be working on is this water over here. I'm going to probably add some Woodland Scenics Realistic Water, and as far as what's going on here under the bridge, I'm probably just going to conceal that with scenery. Not too sure what I'm going to do there. Maybe I'll add like some, um, maybe I'll add like some sand back there or something like that. Old bridge ruins, perhaps. Not too sure, but that's probably what I'm going to be doing. So basically, this layout project is much like my other layouts at this point. is almost 98% complete, or forever 98% complete, because I always find things I'm going to be changing and. And this is actually perfect because in the new year, I'm going to have a brand new layout project that I'm going to be introducing to you all, so stay tuned for that. But uh, without further ado, let's get into some train action with my N-Scale Santa Fe GP38 here in lead, and then behind that, a Santa Fe U25B.